Hello Play The Games, it's Boobity2 here and welcome back to Play The Game Central and today what I'm going to be sharing with you is an idea for the story which um, was posted on Chris's video with the detailed breakdown and it was by Big Dino and basically he said that um, a possible way for the zombies to have come about is that well, I'll just read out the comment. My guess is that the Templars felt an artifact which they thought would bring them eternal life, but instead turned them into zombies. Then they were sealed inside the tomb. By unsealing the tomb, they unleashed the virus onto the world for the first time. And I got thinking about that, and that does just sound very, very plausible. Because, you know, back in the uh, time of the Crusades, there was a quest for the Holy Grail, and it was said that the Holy Grail could bring uh, eternal life to um, the whoever drinks from it so potentially what could have happened is that someone drank or the templars found um this holy grail and then they drank from it and then they got their wish of eternal life and they became zombies and they didn't think that would happen but that could be just the um, trick of it all but essentially they became zombies and because the Germans um, obviously were also interested in this kind of stuff, because the Holy Grail was never like recorded to have been found or anything, the Germans were also very interested in um, the supernatural stuff and religious stuff, like the Ark of the Covenant and the Holy Grail itself, as we know from Indiana Jones films. But um, staying with this idea of um, the zombies, um, you know, having this Holy Grail, well, not well, having the Holy Grail and getting eternal life or whatever. And then uh, the Germans go around digging for it. And then the zombies inside of this, the Templars, who are now zombies, are unleashed, just like Tutankhamun style with that. As soon as, like, the guy opened Tutankhamun's tomb and then, like, some diseases came out and then he got, like, infected and he died or something like that. Um, or I don't know exactly the story of Tutankhamun, but it's kind of like the same kind of dealio that we're dealing with here, yo. So just, just chill, okay? So that's the idea in the head, is that, um, Templars went, found a way to get eternal life, Germans then went to find the same thing, then they didn't really realise that someone had already done that, and now they're getting infected and all dying, and that's how the infection of zombies spread around the world, and, Thinking about the storyline itself, I can't think of a time where it was specified that the zombies were being created with 115 and like Rick Toffin and Maxis and Group 935 were um, exposing people to the 115 and um, making them into zombies. I don't think that ever happened, but... The thing that we know happened is that they were trying to control the zombies, and so they could have had experiments set up for that, and they could have captured just, like, one zombie, and then just sent um, test subjects in to get infected, and then they had more um, stock to um, experiment with, and control these zombies for the good of the uh, Third Reich. And, you know, there is no um, thing that I can remember where they were creating zombies, so that kind of works out that way. And there's also another thing with the eyes as well, and these Templars in the uh, tomb itself have white, purpley eyes, and as soon as they go in and start infecting uh, the Germans, um, the German soldiers are up in um, up above ground and um, pouring out into no man's land with orange-yellow eyes, which implies that Samantha is in control, and no, Maxis is not in control, for Christ's sake, and Samantha's not in control because she's not even born yet, and Maxis was never in control and up until the end of Buried, which hasn't happened yet in this time cycle. But anything's possible now because there's just um, lots of interjecting time loops and all different kinds of shit going on, so no one knows what the fuck's happening. But, um... That's just some food for thought for you guys, and that's probably... That is a very, very good theory as to the story of this map, but I am certain that there's more um, of secret stuff and just special stuff going on, like I made in that video of Takio seemingly remembering um, these other uh, two characters, and also Rick Toffin and his schizophrenic side, and they have given us a lot to play with in this um, release of information, and it is... Uh, very good. They have orchestrated this um, very, very well, and I am very, very happy with it. So, thank you, Treyarch, and thank you all for watching as well. So, thank you all for watching, and if you would like to leave a like on the video, that'd be very kind of you, and hopefully you will do that. And if you're not subscribed, then subscribe, because it's Play the Game Central, obviously. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching once again, and goodbye.